Every year, the creative minds at RIT transform the school's field house into a world of imagination. Jennifer Johnson's been at RIT all morning with a look at what the students have come up with this year. If you want to be inspired, come out Saturday to imagine RIT. See stuff that, I don't know about you, but I have never imagined, that's for sure. So impressed by these students. Remember, these are students. We've been meeting a lot of them all morning long. We're going to meet two more groups right now. Uh, this is Candace, a part of a group of seven. Uh, we're looking at two versions of what you all have created, one from last year, one from this year. What do you call this? And the, the, what it does is so cool. Yeah, uh, this is actually a motorized pediatric stander. Right now, there aren't any on the market. And standers are really important in physical therapy settings. It allows the child to be eye level with this pediatric and it also promotes bone growth um, because they can bear weight on their legs. Ah. So from the last year's version, which is blue, to this year's, we've added a remote. We've improved the bumper capabilities. Um, we also made it a lot lighter weight. And one of our main objectives was to make it so that any parent could make this for their child. Wow. So kids who might not be able to stand up and be a part of everything in the therapy before would be able to. Yeah, it's for kids who haven't had any type of mobility on their own. So we're giving them a sense of confidence and that they can move themselves. Oftentimes children who have cerebral palsy don't have the range of motion to be able to propel themselves. So we have touch sensor buttons on the top so they can just lightly tap and they'll be able to move. Congratulations so and much. all of you are about to graduate so good luck and I hope this comes to fruition because you know what a, what a noble thing that you guys have done. Awesome. I uh, want to move on over here now. This is uh, a project that would be great for uh, those who experience uh, hearing loss or maybe deaf or, or the elderly. Uh, Crystal is uh, a part of the group speaking for the group. She's a part of the job that the team that created it. Um, some NTID students as well. What do you call this? <laughs> Um, we call it Hertz Innovation, so, yep, Hertz, and it's a sound recognition technology for people who want to identify sounds going on in their home. So oh. hearing people could do it as well. So would you eventually someone look at the laptop? Um, well, this is just our demonstration right now. Okay. Uh, this summer we are, we've been accepted into the summer startup program, so we'll be developing uh, a way to make the, the hardware more put together and fit into an actual microphone that would plug into a wall. And then um, the user could use their wearable device, their phone, their laptop, or their, yeah, anything to connect it and let them know that the sounds are going on. And by the way, congratulations, because first of all, I can't believe you guys are all up this morning uh, because it was a big night for this group last night. You guys won a great competition, right? And a big check over there as well. Yep, that's right. $5,000 first place. We're all really, really excited about that. And I'm really proud of all these guys here. <laughs> yes, she's speaking for the whole team here. Guys, congratulations. Look at it. It could very well be, I don't know, a part of your home, possibly in the coming years. Imagine RIT 10 to 5 Saturday. You can plan your visit. Uh, let's see. It is RIT slash EDU. Um, I'm sorry, RIT dot EDU slash Imagine. You can plan out uh, your trip here because there's so much going on on Saturday. I've been inspired. Hope you guys are too.